This is Richard Fowler. I'm John Kilpatrick. We're with Oklahoma Keto, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. And last, the last video we made, uh, we were doing it with Ski. And Ski is an attack that comes in low. So he's coming in low here. Well, I always want to give myself as much protection as I can. So the way I would do that here is to put this hand and pivot around it. And I started that way partly because at first, the idea of pivoting here is hard for people for some reason. And having this arm help you, helps you guide. And now, I always want my, an arm coming up under him. And I'll show you a bunch of different ways to do this over time. But always, I want this protection. If I come in above his arm, so say I came here and then come above, now it's easy for him to cut across me. And the way we train, we do that. Whenever we attack, we keep cutting. We follow the guy. We don't let him go behind us. So this becomes very important. Now today we're going to do the same defense against Shomanuchi. And with Shomanuchi, he's attacking. And this is the attack. Well, this is a high attack. I can't put my arm over his arm, and I don't want to. So then he goes back, and he attacks here. This arm is co just comes straight in. So it actually hits him at least by the time he would have hit me, and usually a little earlier because I stepped in. The other arm. Now this other arm is doing this visual control. The visual control could very well be the most important part of this. Getting this is super important. So striking slowly. When he strikes slowly here, I'm brushing against this and turning my arm up so that my arm is in front of his eyes. Now I realize that in a keto, you're usually taught to keep your elbow down. But for this, you don't do that. So this comes up in front of his eyes. He can't see what I'm doing. He doesn't see me coming behind him. And this hand, at the same time, is coming up this way. Then, I want to get neck reflex control. So I'm going to brush over his head with both hands. So I'm brushing over his head. When we go slow, I may have to grab it a little bit. But it's, you're not hitting the guy or anything. You're not pushing him in the face. You're raking over his head. So that gives you a very powerful throwing effect. And so uh, if, if we, to show you how this looks when we do it, it's, it looks like this, see? And then I can catch his thumb. Here we call this rule of thumb, and he hands me the knife. So again, everything starts at once. Getting a strong pivot is extremely important. Now, when we did it before on the video last time, I was striking straight in here. And that's, a, that's good to begin because you've got to learn to go straight to your partner's eyes. And, and when you don't get this exactly right, it exactly doesn't work. <laughs> um, but you don't get a really good pivot doing that. So if he's got this hand back, if he's got the knife back and this hand leading, and he strikes at me as I strike at him, if I do this and don't get a good pivot, I get hit. Well, he's got the knife. If I get hit, that probably means I couldn't hit him hard. And it means that I'm going to be a mess. So when I do this and he strikes, if I pivot like this, he misses me. Well, this is a real plus. And also, I'm well out of the way. So if he strikes and stabs at, the, at pretty much the same time, which he's probably going to do, even if I can't get any other defense there, I'm safe. So, again, slowly going through this, he's striking. Uh, showman. Showman. And I'm coming here. And see this brushing, this hand is brushing up. I'm not trying to hurt him. 
I mean, if you get into hitting people in the jaw or sticking your finger up their nose or something, you can do that. But that's not what we're doing. That's not this technique. And the nice thing about this throw is it's very, very fast. We're doing it in slow motion. When you do it fast, your partner just falls. I mean, it's, you barely touch them. So, of course, we know to get out of the way, but if a guy doesn't know to get out of the way, this thing brushing up his head, he's not used to dealing with that reflex. Uh, he really flies. 